I'm Wesley. I've lived here for as long as I can remember. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Lullaby here. I hope you are all having a wonderful day today. But, as always, if you're not, click on the link in the description. By the way, you guys, thank you so much for 1K. Oh my god. Like, that's kind of insane, and little me would be shooketh right now. And there will be a 1K special coming soon. I just gotta decide what it's gonna be. And if you would like to vote for what that should be, there will be a link to the video in the description. And as someone requested, now that I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna start doing shoutouts. So if you would like a shout out, there is a question for you in the description. So all you have to do is just answer that question in the comments and I will be randomly picking three people for a shout out in my next video. That said, make sure to stay till the end of this video for our first shout out. Anyways, today I have a very interesting video for you guys. As you know, my series promised me was based off of a book that I wrote in my school journal when I was about 9 or 10. So a few months ago, I was cleaning out the underneath of my bed when I found that journal. I then flipped through the pages and found that story, and I thought it would make a great series. And so, now we have promised me. But I did some digging yesterday and found many more of my writing journals. So I thought it would be interesting if we could look at them. And so I present, looking through my old writing journals. So let's get started, shall we? I'm going to start from my oldest journal all the way up to my newest. So here is my first journal, and yikes. <laughs> so as it says right there, I wrote this when I was in second grade. My guess is I was about somewhere between seven and eight years old. Now, this wasn't the first book I've ever written. I actually wrote another story when I was seven called The Little Mermaid, but I couldn't find it, so I don't know. I'm gonna check again later, and if I find it, I'll show it to you guys at the end of this video. But enough talking, let's read this journal. Okay, what are all these squiggly lines? I don't know why I did that. And then on the inside cover, it says, a friend's brother, stick together. Oh, sorry, my light's in the way. Let's read this thing. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Rebecca. She has three best friends. Their names are Stella, Jessica, and Penny. It was Rebecca's birthday. She invited her friends over to her house. Ring, ring, ring. Present time, screamed Rebecca. Here you go, my present, said her mom. Rip, 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 rip. OMG, it's a puppy. I love it, said Rebecca. Okay, who the frick wraps a puppy? That's whack. Guys, don't wrap your puppies. That's animal abuse. Okay, this is freaking confusing because second-year-old me did not know how to punctuate at all. Whatever, I'll just keep going. Okay, a few my nats later, all the presents were open. This is actually kind of entertaining. Chapter 2. Scared. Oh, dinner first, said mom. Please, said everyone. Fine, no dinner, just cake. Yay! Okay, what's going on? I'm really confused. Oh my, I did an illustration too. Looks like little me was an artist. Hell, oh, that's not appropriate. That's a bad word. Woof, woof. What's the... Okay, then you must go back to bed, said dad. Okay, said everyone. What was that? Whispered Jessica. Boom! A bright light shines under the crack of the door. They all get sucked into the toilet for making the bathroom smell. Okay. Okay, this is boring. Let's move on. And I guess that's it. Man, I wanted to know what happened. <laughs> okay, you guys. So we're going to continue to look farther in this journal because sometimes I would write in the very back of the pages. So let's see what we can find. Like if I should turn that one into a series too. So that was my first journal. And let's just say it was interesting. 
I was actually surprised. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And like, don't get me wrong, it was absolutely like terrible, but like, eh, yeah. Let's move on to our second journal. So this is my next journal. It's also yellow. I guess I really liked yellow or something. But as you can tell, the cover is not as crazy and graffitied before. And this journal is from 2015. So this was actually a school journal. So some of the things in here I had to write for school. For example, we did this thing called free write, but it's titled My Best Friends. So I'm gonna read it. I'm curious, I don't know what's gonna be. Number one, Alexi is so funny and she's fun to be around. She's very smart too. Number two, Eleanor, she is very kind and helpful. Number three, Abby, she has a good sense of humor and fun. Number four, Isabella is kind and she is an alley. Okay. Number five, Sophia is very, very sweet. Number six, Mia is brave and kind. Oh, this is actually really cute. Most of these people on here, I'm actually still friends with. A few of them I don't talk to as much, but yeah. So I came across this story and I actually don't remember writing it, so we're gonna read it. The leader of the pack. There was once a pack of wolves. They were strong and brave, except for one. She was different than the others. Her name was Lila. She didn't have much friends, just one. Her name was Sarena? Sar, okay, I don't understand. What are, what are these names? No offense to everyone who has a name Sarena, but like, okay. <laughs> Sarena accepted Lila's differences, but not the others. They picked on her and said her howl was squeaky and she was wimpy at hunting. The others picked on her so much that Lila got used to it, but one day it was different. A wolf named Mer Merema was picking on Lila. Was the one who started picking on Lila. Then the others picked on Lila too. Is like the boss of the wolves. She's so mean. And Lila were fighting. They were calling each other mean names. Flea bag, said Lila. Litter lover, said I'm not even a cat. Well, you look like one. Shut it. People started whispering. You shut up. Sorta, sort, shout, no oh, wait, short, snow, yeah, snow, a hesh fell over the crowd. And that's the end! I remember at this time I was taking poetry classes, so I have this poem called The Dark, and let's read it. It is almost night as a black cloth wraps around the world. Now it is night. The moon falls in place and shines against your window pane. The sound of sleeping children peaceful in the night. The stars reflection on the lake. The cool breeze in the air. It is dark. It is night. And now it's almost light. Huh. That's actually not half bad for a third grader. You guys, I found another story. It's like really long. It's like 10 pages. So I might not read it all, but we can read some of it. It's called A Strange Dream. It was late that night. The rain was falling and making a pitter-patter sound on the window. Pain. I was playing a game called Candy Crush on my iPad. My parents were watching a grown-up TV show downstairs. The twins, one boy, one girl, were fast asleep in their crib. I heard the twins waking up. I better go sing the twins a lullaby. <gasps> lullaby? Oh my god, little me knew I was going to have a channel before I even know what YouTube was. No, bro. Maybe I'll just take a break and close my eyes. Then I fell into a deep slumber. Suddenly, I was dreaming. In my dream, I walked down the stairs and turned to my right. There stood a closet, a closet I've never seen before. I opened the door and there was flights, flights of stairs leading into a basement. I cautiously tiptoed down the stairs trying not to wake anyone but there seemed to be no one in the house then i was in a big okay this is boring and i have other like journals to read so i looked through the rest of that journal and it was pretty much just that story on and on and on and it was pretty boring so i'm not gonna finish it but i don't know if you guys really want to know like oh what happened i guess i can finish reading it sometime but we still have one more journal so we are gonna speed things up on to our last journal. 
this is our last journal and it's pretty new well it's not that new it's like two to three years old and you can tell i really didn't use it a lot because it's actually in like really good condition and it's yellow again i i don't know why so i flipped to the first page and i found another story and i believe i wrote this when i was in fourth grade and my handwriting actually isn't that bad like i feel like it's better than my handwriting today My name is Allie. I was a girl who lived on a ranch, fed the pigs, played fetch with the dog, milked the cows, but most of all, I loved to ride horses. Oh my god, yes, I remember. I was obsessed with horses in fourth grade, you guys. I literally, I had a horse-themed birthday party. I was obsessed. Ooh, found another picture. What's wrong, dear? Suddenly, a flood of tears streamed down my face. I don't want to move. Oh, Allie, bless your heart. I don't want to move either. She put down Owen and wrapped her arms around me. Okay, another boring story, but y'all get the gist of it. Sorry I keep skimming through stuff. It's just boring. We're talking about cute boys while texting. I tried to run the other way, but they saw me and came over. Aw, poor Odessa. Are you lost? You know the garbage is that way. <laughs> Dang, she's a savage. Dang, that's kind of intense. I think at the time I was getting bullied a lot, so I guess I just decided to write a story about it. So I finished looking through the rest of the journal, and there really wasn't anything more interesting. And also, this video is going to be a pain in the butt to edit, so I'm just going to finish it now. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know. This was a really weird video. Um, I don't even know if anyone's going to be, like, I don't even know if anyone's going to watch it, to be honest. It's just, it's very random, you know. It, like I said, it's not my normal video. But I hope you enjoyed it, question mark. Who knows, I could go back and edit this and realize that it's completely boring and not even post it. But, you know, this literally, this video literally took me hours, so, you know, that's great. Hope you all had fun looking through my old school journals with me. I love you guys, and thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Wait, but hold up, you guys. I have a shout-out to give. I would like to give my very, very first ever shout out on this channel to Bubble Tea Studio. So yeah, you guys, make sure to go subscribe to her, and the link to her newest video will be in the description so that you can check out her channel. And if you would like a shout out in my next video, just answer the question in the description. Okay, for real this time, bye! <laughs>